Do we have to walk back to the foot of the hill? Not really, because I really want to go to the scavenger here too. It's kind of close by, and then maybe we'll get this one, and... We'll think about the rest later. <laughs> yeah, probably after this. Maybe I can walk over here to get the boat, or if I'm feeling really good, I mean... Question marks. 13 more. 13 more. Considering the whole thing with the level scaling though, I'm not too hellbent on getting all of them before we fight the wild hunt or whatever. So if it's nearby, I'll go get it, but I'm not gonna go too much out of my way to get it. A magical acorn we picked up earlier. Oh, it's right here. Food and drink. Acorn from the oak tree growing on the peak of Bald Mountain in Velen. I can eat it. No! Eat this. Oh. Acquire ability. Points available plus two. Oh. Oh, and that's what the magic acorn does, huh? Gives you two free skill points. That's pretty good, except I don't really have any more slots to do anything with the points. I still gotta figure this out, but so far, I don't think I'm gonna keep Flood of Anger, because it just doesn't seem to be doing too much right now. I mean, these are pretty easy improvements. Yeah. We're level 31 right now, and, um, hmm. Is this it? Like, does that mean- does this mean that I have too many points left over now, or- Because I noticed here, in the quest log, that these are like level 32, 34. So we're getting kind of close to end game in terms of the levels here. But, if this is all the slots that's gonna be available, then it seems like we're not really gonna have any use for future points. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, I drank the alcohol. If I could just walk down here... Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And we can just head off across the ocean here to get the... last bear scavenger thing. Swimming across the ocean while we're drunk. Probably shouldn't do that, but we're a witcher, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Right here? It's just on the ground. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Don't talk to the drowners. Of course it would be where the drowners are. How you like that silver? Oh! No! Everybody and their friends are coming over now. It might be on that island over there. Wasn't there another question mark on the island? I think so. Oh, nobody had loot. What the heck? Yeah, that island seems suspicious. Monster nest? Oh, but that might not be the kind of suspicious I'm looking for. Maybe this is not the scavenger stuff. Okay, I gotta kill you first, before you'll let me touch your nest. Ow. We should probably meditate, too. Only one more swallow potion. What the heck? <laughs> oh! Another Drowner. Not good. Would the Drowners live in nests too, then? Does everything live in a nest in here? Okay. What do you know? Turns out it's right here. Yeah, Mastercrafted Ursine Silver Sword. That was a bit sneaky, because the chest was hardly in that yellow circle, right? It was on the very edge. Okay, well, 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 we are... We've done a lot today. In terms of question marks, in terms of scavenger hunts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
There's only one more contract and one more treasure hunt left. Both of them are in Oxenford. The dowry? The dowry one is... Is it this one? Yes. So what I can do is I can go fight the... or find... Find the creature from the Oxenford forest. And then we'll go do the dowry. Hoping it's around the same area here. And there's also something here. Oh, this one might be the Leshen. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta get to a fast travel thing then. Either a boat or a fast travel sign. That's a little far. Can we go here? Although if we're going there, it kind of makes me want to go to the question mark too, just because it's kind of close by. But it's okay. I'll save it for another time. This one's not so far. It's completely deserted here. There's like no traces of houses or anything. No one ever even thought of building anything here. But yet, there's a boat. <laughs> By the way, I'm assuming that uh, the DLCs... I think it's pretty clear that one of them lets you go to Tucson. But the other one, Hearts of Stone, I guess. Do we get access to a new continent or do we stay here? If we stay here, then we'll still have more opportunities to look around the question marks and stuff. But if we don't, then that means there's going to be new question marks around the map. <laughs> Not sure how to feel about that. Any harbors anywhere close to Oxenford? Herbalist. Okay. Uh, if there's a harbor right here, do we want to just go right there? It's a wyvern here, right? Yeah, it's pretty close by. Is it... this way? It's right where the other boat is. I remember this place. Because I remember seeing that level 30 whatever wyvern and I was like, oh my god, there's a level 30 thing here. Plus, we got stuck here in a ditch before. Yeah, that's where this was. Quick meditation. Oh, it's thundering again. Oh. Not a wyvern, but a basilisk. Oh, no. Oh, what? Wait, did the horn work for you or did you just fall down at the same time? Wait, fly. Oh! <gasps> I can't tell. Is it a coincidence that it reacts to the horn or... I got no clue. And look at how easy that was. That's not the dowry though, is it? The treasure chest. Ah, oh, this one. A storm, damn it. Fitting, if we're trying to find a beast in the Oxenfurt forest, I suppose. We want to go over here. To this side, there's a grindstone here. We're talking to someone here. Yeah, the beast is not here just yet. And I remember there were deserters here too. Not deserters, renegades, was it? And those people were pretty dang high level, too. Oh, this is weird. We have a storm, but it's like 5 in the morning right now, so it's really bright. If we have a storm, we really shouldn't be on a boat in the middle of the ocean, right? I feel like we're gonna get struck. My goodness. 
I know witchers are strong and all, but I don't think we have built-in thunder and lightning protection. <laughs> Uh oh Okay, we'll land here. A little bit far away, but I suppose we can just walk this land of, um, this strip of land. Uh, oh, oh, the devil's oh. this. What are you doing, Roach? Don't hit people! <laughs> We're talking about the contract with a mercenary, Hans. A witcher. Oh, step over here. You post the notice? I did indeed. Hans of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got Radovid to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes. Yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? I like money. Let's talk about the reward. About how it's just not enough right now. We should just highball everybody to begin with. <laughs> what? No chance. Oh, he's super annoyed. Yeah, I'll drop it here. A bit too much, mate. But just a bit. We might still strike a deal. We're playing with fire here. A bit too oh. much, mate. But just a bit, we might still strike a deal. What was the base rate? 295? You're gonna give me like two extra orans? Is that it? Bonus 15. I'd have gone to hunt the beast myself <laughs> if I'd known you wanted this much. Hard luck, so be it. Oh! Oh, it failed. Okay. What? He won't even pay 15 extra orans. You're kidding me. Fine. All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. So there's no punishment for failing a negotiation. They just don't... The deal's just off. But you can still accept the contract at the base rate? Or... Is it more like because I annoyed him? When I eventually finish this contract, they're gonna give me less than the base rate. Blood and bodies. Claw marks, bite marks, armor ripped to shreds. Human, no sign of another corpse. A bear is still kinda around. Don't see much else. Oh. Mm -hmm. Flying monster. Gripped the second body in its claws. Didn't quite get everything to its nest. Piece by piece, follow the thread. <laughs> Who asked you to come over here? Piece by piece, we're talking about people's body parts. My goodness. A lot of wolves over here. Like a lot. Oh god. Get 
the world is a little bit risky. Ugly bastard. Oh, okay, it's really risky. Don't call anyone else over, please. Since we're gonna go fight something again, we should meditate. Just use two freaking white reference decoction, my goodness. And will the rain go away? It's only been 15 minutes, probably not. Back on the trail. We got distracted by a whole bunch of wolves here, but where was the trail? Here. A flying beast? Did we already get an entry? A bestiary entry? Tracks end here. Damn birds must have picked the ground clean. But they've already found the rest of the corpse, probably. All I gotta do is follow the cawing. Vultures. Oh. I don't hear them, but I see them. Thin rakides. Sparse after feathers. Interesting. An arch griffin. No! No! Again? Opinicus? Opinicus. Well, you can't possibly be worse than the other one, so we're probably okay. Killers of various stripes, mercenaries, knights errant, ambitious lawmen, try at times to compete with witchers as monster slayers. This usually ends in a massacre that not only does not solve the problem, but in fact only makes it worse. The beast walks away from the fight unharmed, enraged and out for vengeance. Such was the case in the mountains outside Oxenford Forest, where, or uh, not the forest, just the city, where a powerful arch griffin had made its nest. Once again, it fell to the Witcher to clean up after amateurs. He knew neither Igni nor bombs dealing fire damage would have any effect against this fire-loving creature. What, really? Earlier, I was using Dragon's Dream bombs and stuff. <laughs> He would also have to look out for its acid, which can eat through even the thickest armor, leaving one vulnerable to its razor-sharp talons. Now we'll be fine. I'm a griffin fighting expert now. We'll be fine. <laughs> and the nest? Empty, except for leftovers. When the griffin is in its nest. Kill Whoa! Kill of the gods! Kill him, strip him, then dump him in a ditch! Don't be afeard! Where'd you come from? <laughs> There's just two bandits here. There's no home or anything. It's just two random guys in the middle of a place. Oh, maybe they came from here? What is that? Oh, we've been there before. Cave. Oh, it's the the cheese cave. It's the laboratory for the cheese thing, right? Yeah? We will come back after dark. 6 p.m. dark enough? Maybe not. Yeah, no, it's even brighter now. 8. You know it's dark enough because the final preparations quest updates. <laughs> Not your Another one? Day. Oh, here's a nest. There it is. Hey, friend. You're massive. Not bad. See? It's the result of my very rigorous Arch Griffin training earlier. Didn't get hit a single time. 
The rail armor. Swallow armor? And there you go. Now we got a gigantic griffin head. Kind of fitting, huh? I think this is our last contract here, right? And our first contract back in White Orchard. Or uh, maybe not the very first contract, but the contract we had that let us leave White Orchard was also a griffin. So we started with a griffin, and now we're ending off with another griffin. And in the middle, there was that super strong griffin too. <laughs> It's griffins all the way down. Okay, now I'm really curious how much this guy's gonna pay me. Oh my god, there's a lesson! Just... Goodbye? Oh... Oh no. It's just living peacefully here. It's okay, we'll leave it alone. You're not even the Leshen I wanted to fight, right? Or are you? Hey, yeah, you know what? Let's go get this right now. Oh, it must have been that Leshen we just saw. We're over-encumbered, though, but it'll be okay if we're just fighting. Yeah, I'm back for you. Very slowly, but I am back. Oh god, oh god. I'm not actually ready for what this. Now, you piece of filth? <laughs> Stop dodging! God, everybody and their mom. The Lesion's just walking around. It's not even attacking me. It's so scary. It's like toying with its food. Oh, this is such a messy engagement with the wolves, my goodness. Hey, come back! <laughs> I can only very slowly walk over to you, so you better come over here. Or else... Hello? Don't ignore me! Show me what you got. I can't dodge very well because of um, the slowness. Tony Owl plus you are. Uh, I don't know what you are. Relict? I like the design of a lesson. It looks so cool. God, I can't walk very fast right now, so can you just stay in one spot, please? I'll burn you. No, please stop. No, 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 no wolves. We gotta get the Leshen. Whew. If we're just fighting the wolves, it might not have been so bad, but the Leshen tends to teleport around a lot. So this was kind of um, a little bit more difficult than it had to be. More swords. Cool. Alright, let's head back to the mercenary then. I remember the base rate for the contract was 295. Go, go. So if we get 295, it'll mean that there's basically no reason for me to not negotiate, right? Because if we fail the negotiation, he'll still let me do the contract at base rate. Uh, <laughs> no 
longer it lasts, worse it gets. Radovid was like a pay a whole week. He's trying Slow to now. Too. Whoa. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at here. Bronze with just a lick of gold on it. Means the Redanian coffers are near empty. Might be time to cross the Pontar. See if there's any work for us there. In terms of the war right now, who's doing better? I get the impression that the Nilfgaardians are winning. And they just said, the Redanians don't seem to be doing too hot. They're not willing to pay. Well, any progress? Monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch grateful. <laughs> Your reward. Thank you. And in the future, try summoning a witcher before any blood spilt. Gerald, the Rather professional. Was late with our pay a whole week. Oh! He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got was full of hey, yeah. Oh, I thought the negotiation failed, but it didn't. Because based off what he said, uh, earlier we negotiated, and then it brought me back to that prompt again where I had to accept the contract. So I thought the negotiation failed, but it didn't, because he gave me three ten crowns just now. Which is what I negotiated, right? 15 more crowns than the base rate. Well, I guess today is not going to be the day we find out the consequences for failing a negotiation. And that's actually... Oh my god. The treasure hunt tab disappeared because there's no more. My goodness! We gotta go back. People, we're going back to Novigrad! Oh my god. I'll leave that, um... Yeah, I'll leave that for another time. And I don't think we've been to this area before either, but, uh... Maybe some other time. Oh! What's this? No, that's, um... Heart of Stones, right? Okay. Let's go talk to Triss about the... The other thing. The statue? Alright. Giddy up. And when we go back to the inn, we gotta visit the stash too, my goodness. The Novigrad Gate? Yep. I'm heading towards it. I feel like Roach is slower than usual. Oh, because we can't sprint here. Hmm. I just can't believe it. We're actually getting quite close here, huh? <laughs> now I got my next problem Wonderful. here. Just look at the freak. We'll have order at last! Long live Radovid! Hail the mage hunters! I gotta get to the inn by walking. The chameleon. Hey, Zoltan. Zoltan. Get out. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. You just hanging outside here? As they say, a bard must be a... Hey, Dandelion. Where'd you put up the painting of Hemelfar, by the way? A witcher. Put that in. Oh, beautiful. The more beautiful my collection is, the laggier it gets. That's wonderful. Any... Oh, we'll get rid of this one. Yeah, it's just a magic. Mmm, is that it? That's my base witcher sword. Yeah, these ones, I mean, I have some here, but I can sell them. I don't mind not having these, but it's just that right now, I don't want to walk around with like 20,000 things, but I'll take this out. The pants and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Final fire, have mercy. 
If we want to talk to Triss, she's upstairs. <laughs> Is this Triss here? Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Shouldn't have. I'm sorry. It ended well, luckily. But it didn't have to. I know. But Imlarith's gone. That's what matters. Besides, I was there the whole time. Had the situation under control. Really? Mind if we change the subject? Had the situation under control? Like I didn't die to Imlarith, right? Like I didn't die to the crones, right? <laughs> um... Can we not talk to her about the soldier statuette? Or maybe we gotta talk about this first. Past burning pyres on the way into town. Non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that. As she needed the impetus to start anew, she found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Wait, so Kira just left with Lambert? Is that what happened? That's it? They just left! And it's not even over yet! <laughs> Lambert, I thought you were gonna help out, cause, you know, don't you... Siri's my daughter, you're not gonna help me? <laughs> no way they are. Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Yeah, I tried doing that too. Didn't work out. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur Devleister. Devleister rings a bell. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. What? 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 Where was the owl? Did we see this? Oh my god, no way! Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Um, I'll meet you later. 
I thought she was gonna like give me the feather so I can like find a scent or whatever off of it and do it with our witcher senses <laughs> like a dog. Need to take care of something first. Meet you somewhere later. Fine. The fountain outside the passive flora. And hurry, please. But Triss, I have to talk to you about the statue. When are we gonna get to do that? Blindingly obvious. 28. Yeah, so if I if I try to do this one right now, does it even show on the map? It doesn't. It's just not available to do right now because everybody is busy. Okay, now she's waiting for me there. Fine, let's go talk to Avalok. Who is on a different floor because he's got like some deluxe bedroom. Not here. Hmm, maybe I ought to let her unwind. Oh, is that um Priscilla's room? I can't believe we had Philippa the whole time. Did we see this owl though? Did we ever lay eyes on it? I just can't believe it! How can this be? She was an owl the whole time because she couldn't turn back. So when we went to the lab to look for her, she just flew away some time ago, probably. And that's why there was no traces of her. Dang, man. And that's why all the important notes and whatever, she left it all there. Dang. Wow, this really is a deluxe room. Look at all this stuff. Oh, hey, Avalok. Didn't even see you. Wow. Why did you get the deluxe room? Triss just got a random room downstairs. Should have asked Dandelion about that. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Skip the guessing games. I'm tired. The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Yeah, I remember this. Have we seen Gels yet? In the battle? We know this. We know this from the books, but we'll ask anyway. How do you know? Or are you bluffing? Eredin made sure very few individuals knew of his betrayal. Most are now dead. Didn't answer my question. How matters not. What matters is, I know. And I have an idea how to use this knowledge. Maybe the only people who know are Siri and Avalok. Hmm. Haven't mentioned killing Gels. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago. A world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there. And it is there where we will find Gels. Think you're forgetting something. You and Ciri might know how to travel between worlds. But me? Not so much. 
You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Meet you there. Gotta see to something along the way. Hurry. I'd rather not loiter in the street any longer than necessary. Yeah, they don't take too kindly to elves right now here. Okay, so it's not just talking to the people. Every person here is gonna give us a quest. Okay. Gels. Intelligent, composed, and endowed with massive charisma. Gels enjoy the respect and trust of the inhabitants of the Anel world, as well as that of their previous ruler, Auburn Morris Attack. For this reason, Gels not only retained his high ranking position after Eridan took power, but also became one of the new king's most powerful allies, acting as his viceroy while Eridan traveled at the head of the Wild Hunt. Though Gels was one of the most influential of the NL, power had never been among his driving aims. According to Avalok, his loyalty and sense of right and wrong constituted a weakness that could be used, possibly to tip the scales of the final battle. To be honest, I would much rather just kill him. Yeah, but uh, it could be interesting to try to get the Wild Hunt from inside. Especially because we're not so sure of our powers right now. We have Siri, but she can't control the magical powers that'll let us beat the Wild Hunt. So if we can somehow make them implode from the inside, that might be pretty interesting too. Drawing on his knowledge of internal NL politics and the strengths and weaknesses of the Wild Hunt's commanders, Avalok crafted a plan to eliminate one of Aridin's most powerful allies, his master of manipulation, Gels. In order to accomplish this, Avalok was willing to do anything even risk a dangerous journey to Tirnalia. Did Triss update earlier? No. Through time and space. I'm thinking we'll just talk to every person first and then we'll go for the lowest level one. I think I'm in love. Think I piss me trousers. How Romantics. much of the night, my peach? Lovely natural You're mistaken. Tranny. I'm a dancer, not a whore. What, my peach? Why here? There's all. Do you see what I do? They have. Okay. For Siri, we have to. Oh, why do we still have to talk to Triss for final preparations? Have we not done this already? Okay, well, we'll go see her later on. Through time and space is lower level. Let's go talk to Yennefer and then talk to Siri, maybe? I know Yennefer is near Hattori, which is great because I got a whole bunch of stuff to sell. Double shies. Uh, Yennefer is this now one, right? You what are you doing? Why is that guy sleeping on the ground? Okay. You're a vulgar one. Can see it in your face. Hatori. Let's go to Hatori first if we can. Just want to offload some. Oh, he's over here. Dang it. We'll talk to Yennefer first then. She's at the other inn. Crippled Kate's. Like I'll give you a discount. Well, no, you know. Oh, here it is. The apocalypse. A witch has walked into my brothel. What's strange about that? What's strange is you. Everyone knows witches are freaks, mutants, unnatural. And this is a decent brothel for whores with principles. Well, spit it out. Got all the same bits in your trousers like a normal lad. 
Last I checked, everything was where it should be. Y'all have to pay to find out. Oh, we've never talked to her before. Got anything to sell? I can't sell you any of my armors, but... Oh, I forgot to put the trophies in the stash. But the crap. You can probably take the crap, but not the shells though, because I know the shells are good. I should dismantle those. You can take the plates and stuff. Stone medallion. Broken rakes. Rotten flesh. Yeah, no, we gotta go find Hattori. He's the only one who can save me. So long. Uh, Yen? Where's Yen? Vulgar one. Can see it in your face. Is that Yen sitting here? Oh my god! I couldn't even recognize you! <laughs> more soldiers, more work. Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or series? <sighs> I don't want to rat Siri out, but I don't want to take it either. <laughs> Spare me your lecture about responsibility. I was actually going to recite an anthem praising your glory, but if you're not in the mood... I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. As long as we support Ciri, that's okay, huh? Wow. Yennefer... Oh my god, that lady in the back is so distracting. I think between Yennefer and Triss, I hate that we're going back to this again, but Triss, I think, is much closer to my own personality, whereas Yennefer is like... Like, I admire how she thinks, but I could never be like her. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the Lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Nothing to tell yet. Came to get you first. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of a man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. <gasps> Wash your face, mister! Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! What?! <laughs> Best run and get him. <laughs> it kind of looked like Geralt just knelt over. His eyes seemed a little bit like a witcher's. By the day. Wonderful. I'm warning you. Where are you going, eh? <laughs> Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... You shan't hurt me. No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, well, so be it. 
But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. <laughs> Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up lickety-split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms, were that to be my fate. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. Wait, I just realized what was so weird about that guy. His hair was completely white, but his beard was pitch black. What was going on? Oh, I got a plan. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Not right now, though. Bredanian soldier boys are so tired. Brave lads I'd give you a discount for heroic trail. deeds, but the madam. Okay, we're out of well, here. You know. Higher, most certain. Uh, uh, maybe they'll draw them as well. You mean me to yes. have another Yeah, that little herd of trying to hide the sorceresses. I don't know how much it I'm helps. Hungry. Okay. Well, we have the great escape here, where we can optionally ask Zoltan for help. Yeah, 28? 26? 28? What about Siri? What about Siri? It's daytime right now, isn't it? Almost daytime. Probably by the time we finish visiting Hattori, it'll be daytime. Arms for hey, the Jackie, poor. you're the oldest, so tell us. Just what's a horde <laughs> do exactly? Well, my dad told me they do things mum won't. Ooh, oh, crap. <laughs> hates to do the laundry. So that's what all those gentlemen do at the Passive Flora. Get their laundry done? Guess so. Looked in the window once. They was all prancing round in their knickers. So why does my dad say the Passive Flora is the best because it's got the dirtiest horse? Golly, adults are strange. Gotta have the dirtiest people to do the cleanest laundry. Greetings, Ivier. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? 
Actually, that's not what I meant to do, but hey, we should look here anyway. We're level 31 now? Uh, what is the next level? And really, which one do we want to get? Kind of like the wolf set, but I think the next one is at level 34. If we're looking at level... Ooh, Weeper. If we're looking at level 31, we have the Weeper. Earth sign is level 30. Yeah, I guess there's really not too much room for upgrades right now. That's fine. I don't want to think about it anyway. Repairs. Dang, that was a lot of repairs. Can I also get you to dismantle? Oh my god, you can dismantle the Rose of Remembrance. That's so bad. The shells. And the other shells. That's pretty much all we want to dismantle. Now, do you take those items? Oh, we should go back to the, the bookstore to sell the books. But for you, you can just take the weapons and whatnot. And you got a ton of money. So I don't really have to um, worry about you. Zarel armor. This one's a little bit interesting, huh? Okay. What happened to my pearls? Do they go under crafting? Oh, they do. <gasps> Whoa, that's worth a lot of money. Dang. Okay, if we ever need a lot more money, I'll remember. I'll remember that I can sell this stuff. But right now, we don't need it. And we don't know if we ever need to craft something using pearls. So I'll leave it alone. So long.